so a bit of a long stream obviously has some spiel um, for the weekend so a lot of new games being launched and there are a lot of kickstarter games so i think i'll start with a bit more of an obscure one uh this is campaign trail and i'm also just eyeing up jaffa cakes already i've got an open pack 24 <clears throat> next to me to keep me going through the day as well as a few drinks so yes campaign trail there's a new green party expansion on Kickstarter, which adds a fourth player, the Green Party. It's a US political, oh, it's right there. US political game, uh, basically an area control game with a, a politics theme. So, I was looking at this previously and I said there weren't any solo cards. They're actually here, which someone pointed out to me. You can't see them, but if you unlock it and force them to fall, I can grab them. The solo deck is actually on the table. I can get it set up for a two-player game. All I need to do is grab a copy of these. And I can go over here, I guess. A two-player setup. We're going to make a few changes to this. Actually, it's not, not shuffled them out, which is good. The solo deck will tell us what we're going to do for the yellow party. We will play as green. And there is a debate region as well, which with the green party AI you will actually use. I need to incorporate the rules. And I'm pretty sure I've already downloaded them on this PC. <clears throat> hey, uh, Karma, how you doing, man? You keeping well? Sorry about uh, the timeout on your stream yesterday. I didn't think a five-second timeout would uh, wreck his entire conversation like that, man. Got to test the sword out. Uh, yes, it's uh, an election game. You ended up banning him. Fair enough. What was, uh, what was the reason? It was a little bit weird, his, his messaging. But did it just carry on and just get a bit worse? I think I should be able to bring a PDF in. Ah, oh, that's cool. I mean, not cool, but good that it's sorted. Otherwise, it can yeah can put a lot of people off if someone starts getting a bit toxic or whatever in the chat. So we just need to load the other rule book in, and we are set. Uh, but yeah, this is a US politics game without getting overly political. Um, but given the nature of the date, I am not going to be playing as either the Democrats or the Republicans. I will be playing as the Green Party and my opponent is the Libertarians. Um, this is a game that, although it's political, isn't overly political when you're debating a, an, a topic. So education and gun control are important to Texans, finances to Oklahoma apparently. Um, it doesn't force you to 
have an opinion one way or another. You are just debating that topic. Um, so basically, whatever you think is right could be what you're campaigning for. But I can't say I won't make some political commentary. Obviously, politics in the UK and US are similar but quite different. Um, the idea of free and unregulated guns is somewhat alarming, I think, to most of the world. Um, so I'll get that out up front. I know you've got your amendment rights and that's, that's your thing. But it's a bit weird if you ask me. <laughs> um, so it looks a little chunky and I was interested in the game and actually online I couldn't find any decent playthrough. Uh, there's some rule rundown videos and someone's done a partial play, uh, but nothing actually showing the whole game and not, I can't line these up, nothing with the, the new expansion. So I thought, close enough, I'll give it a go, see how I get on. But it's, it's not overly complicated. Um, we're going to start with, as we have here, give myself presidency of the Green Party. We have our candidate and our home state, which will give us a slight advantage. And a hand, five cards. These cards, I think, are from an expansion I'm not going to use, so let's just chuck them out of the way. I won't delete them just in case I need them, but we're going to do one of these actions printed along the side. So I can't point to it, which is going to be pretty hard. Um, unless I'm close enough. The blue T is a travel action if it's an aeroplane. That means we could fly to any other city, which are marked with these circles. If it's a number, we can move that many connected states. So that's simple enough. If we choose the finance action, the green 110 is simply the amount of millions of dollars we fundraise. Okay. R is register some voters. And the R number for registering voters basically means grabbing voters from the undecided pool, which is from our little meeple in this case, and we gain that number of voters. So those three are really simple. They are just gather money, gather some meeples to put on the board, and then put more of these, these good meeples, these little dudes, my people. Um, so the more meeples you have out, if you've got the majority, you have control of the state. I'll change for the host. You're a fan of firearms? That's cool. I mean, everything's different. Um, I think it's a lot based on history and regulation because you can look at Switzerland. I mean, they have no issue with gun violence because it's well regulated and, and everyone's sensible about it. People are trained. Um, so guns of themselves are not a bad thing, but it's how they're used. I think... There's a shocking statistic that more Americans have been killed in America by guns than Americans have been killed in wars. And that includes all wars. The Revolutionary War, the Civil War, both world wars, Iraq, Afghanistan, Vietnam. More Americans have died by guns in America than any foreign party. So as much as a good militia is essential to stop foreign powers, I think, I think they need to stop killing themselves. Um, so yeah, those first three actions are pretty simple. T, F, and R are just gather some resource. A is advertise, and it shows us a couple of icons. Uh, let's see, this one... They all seem to be pairs, actually. I hadn't noticed that previously. Hello. Not always pairs, but for every icon, we're paying a certain amount of money. And we can advertise in those states and basically advertising lets us sway some voters. And if we've got available registered voters, we can choose to put them out in the states in question. So advertise is simply to move your people that you've collected from your registrar action using money you've gained from funds to put people out. Um, you can advertise anywhere, which is why it's slightly more expensive than campaigning. See action down on the bottom right, you have to be within one of those states to campaign, but then you can place 
Uh, where's the campaign? Yeah, you can. Oh, it's these blue ones. Yeah. You can then put your meeples into that. So again, every action you're trying to do is either to gain some money or meeples or place them out to gain control. And the one little wrinkle that breaks the rules is this permanent action down at the bottom. So they changed the rules, had a few little wrinkles to me mess things up. So it's, it is a bit of a complicated beast, but I think more intimidating by looking at the sheer amount of stuff here. This is set up as an eight player game. Um, so we've got two people playing each party that we will just be playing as a president and president. So I think actually I can get rid of all of that to clear up some space. They're a deadly tool. Things like assault and machine gun should never be in the hands of a civilian. And it just messes up, shows how messed up American society is. I mean, yeah, every society's got its issues. Knives in the UK are a bit of a problem, but I'd much prefer someone running at me with a knife than taking a shot from 100 yards with an assault rifle. Um, but yeah, gun, guns are cool. I, when I was in America, I did shoot an AK. Um, I had a nice target of Osama Bin Laden set up. Because obviously this was back in back in the day when that was an issue. Um, and yeah, it, I mean, it's good fun. But anyway, that's probably killed any chance of an American audience getting their own sleep. <laughs> so I need to set this up. All of our cards here should be shuffled. So I thought I'd get this game done now. Then if I upload it to YouTube for people to see later, I can edit out any uh, every political commentary I might give. Because as I said, the game itself isn't political. Although it's politics. But very much like American politics, you don't have to win the popular vote. You just have to have the most electoral college. So it doesn't matter how many voters are out here, as long as we win in the key states. Seven, eight, nine, ten. We get. I lost count there. Ten of the dummy cards. Dictating our actions during, uh, what would it be? August, September, October. And then at the end of October, as it is the very start of November, we have the actual election, which is the end of the game. And this track, I've now got space somewhere a little more useful. That's so weird. What's what's weird? The number of voter thing. It is a bit. If that's what you're talking about, because I think I think Hillary got more votes last time round. I think it was the same with George W. Bush as well. He didn't he didn't get the most votes. But if you win a state, you get everything. So for example, Texas, these numbers, and also, which is really nice on this track, the size of it. California you can see is worth fifty-five. Some of these other states aren't worth much, so we probably won't be campaigning heavily in Montana and New Hampshire, as we could get Loads and loads of voters turning out, but it's only going to get us three seats in the government. Whereas California, even if we just narrowly squeak a win, we will get all 55 of the Californian seats. The British system, I think, does something similar. You take the number of votes, and the winning party gets the first seat, and then you halve their number of votes, and then you look at who's winning. And they might have still have the highest number, even once you've halved it, so they get the next seat, and you halve them again, and you see who's winning. And you do that for every constituents, um, every county that gets in, new election officials. So if it's very close, like some of the, the states in America, I think it's within a few thousand votes, and instead of all ten going to one party, it would just be split half and half. But if it were 80-20, if you've got 80% of the vote, you get the first one, you'd halve it, it's 40%, you're still winning, so you get the second, you halve it, 
you're at 20. So you might still have just edged it, you'll get the third one. Uh, every country's got a weird little way of doing it. I think our system's not exactly universally loved because it does favour the big parties. Um, but gotta do, gotta do something weird. So let's have a look. We've got to choose one of our starting places, and this is where it tests my American knowledge. We have NC, that's got to be North Carolina. That's over here, that's worth 15 seats. Um, so just above the north of America, above Washington side, it says NC. It's not very clear. This one's GA. It's just a reference state. It doesn't get used for much, but for this, we're going to use one of these as our home state, and that gets us an extra two voters. So for North Carolina, we could put two green voters into North Carolina and tie up the vote for GA. Uh, Georgia, the 16, and then that's what, Minnesota? That's... Why is Minnesota up here? Minnesota, that's not worth many. MA, Massachusetts, 11. So the one worth the most is Georgia, and there's only one libertarian voter here. So I am going to say that we are from Georgia, and I am not going to start trying to put on a southern drawl. Whatever that's called. It is a wonderful accent down in these uh, old French states. Um, we also need to choose who we are. So we've got two potential candidates we can be. Who will break the rules in slightly different ways. Um, I think this is actually from an expansion I'm not using. The wealthy candidate. Let's do that. Advertising campaign actions cost you 20 million less, which is good. But when we take a campaign action, we must place a voter where we are located and only in adjacent states. So it makes the campaign action less effective, because normally they could cover a reasonable area. But actually for ours, that's not too bad. So we start with 90 million and five registered voters, but actually in a game where there's not two people in each party, we will double that. Movie Night Fellowship of the Ring. Ah, oh, awesome. So I expect there's going to be lots of uh, Lord of the Rings quotes next time I see you then. Considering you've got the Space Elf Stellaris. Eight. Cool, man. Yeah, take care of yourself and I'll see you see you Sunday. I'm actually off so I can participate a little more freely as long as I'm not being nagged by my, my wife. <laughs>
the registry action. And this is the number of extra meeples they will add. And they add three per section. So in this case, we've only filled up up to four, so we can add more. If that was done, they would look here and they're adding five cubes to each state. Arizona, Oregon, Washington, uh, WV, West Virginia. No, it's North Carolina. Yeah, we are West Virginia. Yeah. Um, they add that many cubes if they aren't winning the state by this small subscript number. So if Arizona were winning by three for the Libertarian, they wouldn't put five more voters there. Let's see, that's a bit of overkill. Oh, and it shows me here actually where, where they are, which is useful. But this turn's going to be easy. We need one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So he has just gained a lot more voters. That's his turn. Our turn then. We can take one of these actions. We've got the campaign card for... Uh, no, although it started as Georgia, it doesn't cover Georgia. This one does. Once per turn, you may discard four of which devotees to play a second card from your hand and take its fundraise action. Or play immediately after your opponent declares a campaign action, your opponent must pay 20 million per voter which is not that useful in a AI game. Hmm. We do have voters. And I think this would be good. Just getting rid of four voters to fundraise. We won't have to do it a huge amount of times, hopefully, because our, our advertising campaign is, is cheaper. So I think that works well with who we are. So we would play out this card for its permanent ability in this effect, because the P has got the infinite symbol, it stays in our area. And this one, it's P with the arrow, means on an opponent's turn. And there's a lightning, which means just a one-off immediate. So that is our turn, and we will draw back up to five. Let's just check our costs. Where's the, the rules? Actions, page eight. Travel action, easy enough. Fundraise, gain stuff, register, easy enough. Advertise, a 20 million per issue in which you may want to advertise. So we, as the wealthy candidate, basically get one advertise for free. That's good. And campaign is 60 million. And we'd be able to campaign for 40 million. Yeah, I like that. That's, I've got a coffee, a tea, a juice, and a water. So if you see many different cups, it's not just me trying to meme. And I don't have anyone off camera moving the same drink between cups. I'm here for the long haul. I'm not not doing this by half, so though I have realised I've got Jaffa Cakes, Twiglets and Hula Hoops. So I'm not sure how I'm going to attempt Twiglets because that's a pretty crunchy food, which I'm sure for any of you except the most ASMR inclined, that's going to be really off-putting. Let's have a look. The dummy player then, we look at his register track. It is higher than five, so he will do the advertise action. He's adding two cubes into the following states unless he's winning them. We have AK, uh, Arkansas, is it in the middle here somewhere? Alaska, AK. Yeah, AK, Alaska. So I'm winning that one. So here we'll have two voters to Alaska. And we have a tie. When you're tied on votes, the winner of the tie would be the first colour that you come to on these stars. So the Green Party is the first tiebreaker, then it would be Libertarian, then it would be... who's red? Republican? I don't know. Republican, I think. And then blue is Democrat. So you can see each state has different combinations. It also shows who 
had control at the start of the game if you're playing with three and four players. So anywhere with a green star, we've got two. Anywhere where there's red or blue, it goes to the second tiebreaker, which has to be either yellow or green, I believe. No. Um, oh yeah, because it could, yeah, it could be red, blue, yeah. Uh, but whoever is then next gets only one of the voters. So you, you've got a, a lead, but not a huge lead. So that's how you'd set up. But there's plenty of setup videos, so I've, I've not done that. I've let the AI do that for us. So they are adding two to Alaska because they weren't winning. California, they want to be winning by three. They're winning it, but not by three. So they'll add a couple more. I don't need to change any dominant party just yet. M-E. Who's that? Keep looking at my cards. M-E. One of the states over here. Maine. I would not have guessed that. Okay. They are not winning Maine, so they will get two voters up there. And this is why I'm playing it as a two-player game. If I was trying to get three or four sets of meeples on here, it would be a little more confusing. Um, I still keep the tiebreaker there, though, so that's okay. NJ is New Jersey. I'm winning that, but only by one. So now, when he adds his voters, he's going to take these 14 Jersey votes from me. Let's close this gap. New York. Still mined by the tiebreaker. Rhode Island. Still mined by the tiebreaker. And South Dakota. He's winning by two, and he wants to be winning by two, so he won't waste extra voters over there. So that's his turn. Okay, so we've got the possibility to advertise, and that does play into our strengths. Let's think. California is a huge one to win. There's Texas. Texas is not really gone for. But we've got no advertising that the Texans would care about. We could move over there to campaign. But we could only... Well, yeah, if we flew... We'd have to fly to Texas to, add, uh, to campaign there because of the limitation of being wealthy. We've relied too much on money and thus lack campaign skills. From Georgia, if we were to move, where's he got a lot of... He's got a lot of votes shored up here. We could try and campaign. VA and C. That's Georgia, South Carolina, Oklahoma. South Dakota's his, but not a huge amount of votes. That's Michigan, which is mine. Ohio. Vermont. Most of those are ours already. P A V A N C. Yeah, they're not connected. I think we might use this advertisement campaign for each. Let's have a look. Check the rules for advertisement campaigns. A 20 minutes million per issue. For each issue you pay, you must have registered voters. Place exactly one vote into each state that contains the issue you paid for. You can pay 20 million and put a voter into California. So we get five voters for 20 million. That seems okay. We get rid of 20 million. Keep track of that there. And we need five people. And one for California, which doesn't help us win, but it's a start. 
the state above. What is above California? Oregon. One for Alaska. Which keeps our control. I'm going to need to... I think it was Wyoming. Was it a big square in the middle? Yeah. It would be nice. I mean, obviously, if you could hold the card in a physical hand, this would be easier. It's going to say it'd be nice if they actually had the uh, state's initials on it, but I guess that's not necessary. Like Ticket to Ride, when it shows you where the, uh, the stations are. Yeah, that seems fine. So we pay 20 million to advertise. We've got a few extra voters out. We can... We scored four voters to fundraise, but we've got money. We don't have many voters at the moment. We've got lots of cards that get us 11 voters, which are pretty good. So we draw one more card into our hand. Gain three registered voters each time your opponent plays an advertise. Yes. Yes, I want to do that. Okay, so... Dummy player then looks, he's filled up to four, so he will campaign, and he's going to campaign down here. So Colorado, is it? C-O, Colorado, yeah. He's not winning by four, he is winning by two. Going to go for Colorado. New Mexico, he is not winning, so he will go for another three. And now he is winning, even though this was ours to start with. Oklahoma, again, he's going to take that state from us. And Texas, he isn't winning Texas by four, so he's going to place his last registered voters out in Texas. He's got Oklahoma, New Mexico, Mexico. All right, so as things stand, he's getting 279 electoral college votes. I think if I remember correctly, 269 results in a tie. He swung 10 seats away from us. You've got 600 odd seats, or 580, whatever it is, and you can still end up with a tied government, which seems crazy. Just add one seat somewhere. So, I'm going to go for Backlash. Get the extra permanent ability. So that when the AI... Yeah, advertisers would get three voters, and those voters could be used to fundraise. That works pretty well for us, so that's a quick turn. I don't need to check the map. Do need to get more voters. Probably have to use one of these three cards since they give us the highest number. They will give us 11. AI player. He's getting 12 voters. One, two, three. One, two, three. Actually, let's copy, paste. Oh, I didn't want those cards copied. Three, six, nine, twelve. Okay. So, I like the campaign action for Texas because we do want to get down there. This one doesn't have campaign. Let's use this one as the registrar action, and we will get eleven extra voters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Our turn, quick and easy, and draw one more card. Place a region token on this card at the beginning of your turn. If you control the most states in this region, gain two registered voters. Okay, we could choose one of these up here. At the moment, we are controlling one, two, three, four, five here, which seems quite good. 
Pacific. Well, we could fight for Hawaii and Alaska, which aren't worth many votes. But hopefully the AI isn't going to fight for them too much. That might be an easy one to try and keep. Otherwise, Florida, the southeast region, it is our home state. Any free actions at the start of the game which give us more stuff I quite like, so I might I might go for that voter registration drive. We're down here. So we haven't got any cards that let us campaign down there should we need to if we fail. Could be a risk. But let's see what the dummy does. He is going to register some more voters. He's down on this track, so he needs nine this time. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah. We've done five out of his ten cards from this first month. So we're going to get on to debating soon. These are the topics that are cared about, which relates to the symbols in that top semicircle on this card. So this. Um, aid. This is quite a good, yeah, quite a good campaigning card. And that's our only one that matches at the moment. So I might just set this aside. And try and remember that's for campaigning. Um, sorry, not campaigning, that's for the debate, which is in Cleveland. We're going to move up here for the debate. Yeah, let's, let's go for another permanent action. And this is probably... Yeah, we're going to put these here. Probably about as late in the game as these are going to start being useful, but if I can keep control of a region and we've got 25 more turns, this could be 50 voters, which is pretty big. But which one? The fact Georgia has an airport and then we are connected to both other states, which helps with our limitation, is very tempting. California does Yeah, California does have an airport as well, and it's connected to Hawaii, so maybe. I do need to... I mean, Florida's worth a good amount of votes, actually, isn't it? 29 votes. Florida, Texas, and California, I think, are the biggest. New York as well. Let's fight for... Our home states, though. We, if, I think that makes sense. If we control the most states in our home region, we get two voters. That was our turn. We draw one more card. When an opponent declares an advertising action, they must choose one state from each issue to not place voters in. Okay. So let's just check these political win. Do we withdraw, withdraw them? Play the card account at the top, then discard the card. You do not immediately draw to refresh your hand. You would do that at the end of your next turn. So these actions are worth doing, but unfortunately, this one just doesn't affect the AI. Because it's just basically an, an extra action not on your turn. So his registration track is fine. So he's going to check these states. Take two voters each time. So we need uh, Illinois. Yeah. Indiana. He's not winning by four. So one, two. Uh, Kansas. Right, KS. 
So he is muscling in on a lot of our state. We're not winning many comfortably. Where is he? There's Colorado, Texas, California. He's got a few states where he's quite heavy in. MN. Two. He wants three lead. Going up there now. TN. Tennessee. TN. Yeah. And Wisconsin. WI. Okay. Unfortunately, he's not done any advertise actions. I think I'm going to travel and then look to do this campaign. I think that'd be quite good up here. We're just going to travel four. And we can go one, two, three. Because then North Carolina, Virginia, MD and J aren't going to be connected. With PA. I'm not sure PA is connected. Let's go four into Maryland. Because then we can, we have to put a voter in Maryland, which is fine. We can put voters in Virginia, Pennsylvania, and no, New Jersey's not connected. But one, two, three states. I think Pennsylvania and Virginia are worth it. I draw one more card. Oh, not from the solo deck. From this deck. Okay, quite a few places that advertises for not a lot of money. Solo. His track is just filled enough. LA and Texas. So Texas, he is winning by four, so he won't actually do anything there. LA though. Louisiana. He's going to take control. That is a campaign action again. So we are also doing a campaign action. It would normally cost 60 million, but we will do it for 4 million. Ah, 4 million, 40 million. Four. And this lets us place six of our registered voters. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, because of who we are as the wealthy candidate, you must place a voter where you are located and may only place voters in adjacent states. You have to place one in Maryland, but we will then place one, two, three. Actually, let's do four voters in Pennsylvania. And one more in Maryland, so we, we'll take PA from him. And that's just enough to swing us the votes. And we're just slightly more secure on these 10 electoral votes, because it's it's quite a decent amount, 10 votes. Obviously, we could have gone three and two and tied up in Virginia, but we wouldn't win the tie break anyway. One more card. Each time you play a card with your home state highlighted on it, place one voted from the undecided supply there. Okay, that would help. Oh, yes, we should have gained four extra voters. Shouldn't we? One, two, three, four. 
this on our move turn as well as this turn. And if we go... Each time you play a card with your home state highlighted on it, it's one voter from the undecided supply. So this advertisement, for instance, which I'm eyeing up, that would help us keep getting the voters. Because if we're locking up Georgia, it's only South Carolina and Florida which we have to worry about. That is quite tempting. Just because of this little engine we've got going here, if we're gaining more voters, basically every two turns we can be trading those voters in for a fundraise action. Mm. That's not, it's not amazing though. It's, it would, would pretty much guarantee us Georgia though. 16 votes. We'll see what the dummy player does. He needs to registrar action because he only has five meeples here. So one comes here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Have we had? Yeah. So there was one advertised action he did, but most of it does seem to be campaign. Put that down. So we get two more voters, one, two, because we control those states. And I, I like the campaign action here, because these states are pretty close together. Vermont touches, or Massachusetts touches Rhode Island, Connecticut. Uh, where are we? We are... We're in MD. Could do another campaign action while we're here. Take Virginia. I'm trying to, trying to see where we are. DE. DE on here? Delaware is on here now as well, so we could... Yeah, I think that's worth doing whilst we're here. only two cards left before we move to Cleveland. It's only here. I don't want to have to move back. So let's campaign again. And we take one, two, three, four, five, six. Voters for 40 million. So one has to go in Maryland. We we'll place one, two, three, four into Virginia. Or we'll just, you know, throw them everywhere. Ooh. Green, libertarian. NC should still be North Carolina, yeah. We've got one left. We could put one more into one of these big vote states to try and hold on to it rather than Delaware. It's only three votes. Let's... We're going to move to Ohio though, which is next to Pennsylvania. So if we get a campaign card, it's still... Now let's make Pennsylvania one of our go-to states. We want, we want Pennsylvania. Yeah, that seems fine for me. One more card. We haven't got many cards that help for campaigning. I haven't seen this shape. Circles or stars. We've just got this one campaign card. It does make the military an issue, which means we could then play another card which has military on it. We do have those. Dummy player wants up to six covered, and it's not, so this is just a one, two, three, four. 
five, six. It's a slow action for him. We get our two voters. <laughs> Excellent. That's a good card. I thought this one, the backlash, would have got us more by now. We've got 80 million. Which is still enough to do an advertise action. Hmm. Let's go for. I mean, this, if we had Favourite Son already played, would gain us an extra voter. This is a lot of states. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's place 11 voters, which is exactly what we have. Unless. Uh, the debate. Let's have a look. Debate phase. If we've got to use voters from. Our, our pool at the end. During August and September, the parties continue to take turns until the last card is drawn. And the current. Okay, when this happens, continue to take turns until the last end, end of the current round. You may count the number of cards remaining in a month's deck. You may need to draw cards now. Dead. When the round in which the August deck runs, I will proceed to the first debate. If there's a 4 to 6 debate, no, prepare for debate. Reset the turn order, use the turn order marker. Move for free to the city. Debate round. Each debate is divided into three debate rounds. Each round, play one action card. And you can wrap it to trail. So, anything which is already on the debate arena, which in the first debate will be these tokens to start with. And then, depending on what other symbols come out, also gets talked about during the debate. Because, you know, these politicians do like to go off topic at times. After the debate to work, examine the voucher section. Voters are placed on the map according to the normal rules of debates. They all come from the undecided supply. Okay. So we could spend uh, this advertisement campaign which is pretty good. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven states, basically for forty dollars because we get the discount. Not forty dollars, forty million is all of our registered voters. That seems good. Let's bring them up and the card and make sure we get this right because some of these are pretty small. Um, the topic is pigs. That's got to be New Jersey. And housing for Rhode Island. Okay, so that's Rhode Island. And New Jersey. New Jersey, because we have the tiebreaker, swings back to the Green Party. We've managed to come back. Now we've got a briefcase. Another briefcase at New Hampshire. Up there. Yeah. And then there's a briefcase here. And the house. With a briefcase next to it. South Dakota. South Dakota has got um Mount no not Mount Rushmore. Is it Mount Rushmore? I have a feeling that's South Dakota. Um, Louisiana. Lots of voter activity in Louisiana. Oklahoma we did, and Kansas. I think we did Kansas. And New Mexico did we do? No, we didn't do Oklahoma because we started here with one. Now we have one more here. So Kansas is green. Oklahoma still yellow. New Mexico has come back green. 
So going into the first debate... Ooh. Still one more card. Yeah, so going into the first debate, we've got a healthy lead, but actually there's one more turn. His track is full enough, so he's going to add one cube to a lot of states. So... M.A. What is M.A.? Massachusetts. Yep. M.D. It's Missouri. Oh, Maryland. Okay, yeah. Minnesota. It's got a lot of support up in Minnesota. Emma, Missouri. NC, North Carolina. And South Carolina. Ooh. Good thing he's only adding one. Texas. How many does he have down in Texas? He's only got four, so he will still add one to Texas. Uh, VA. And he's not winning Virginia. We just kept that four to three. And um, WI. Um, not the Women's Institute. That will be Wisconsin. Which flips the battalion. Excellent. Uh, we didn't take an extra card. What do we got? Gain three voters for each region in which you control the most number of states. Okay, let's have. Oh, we get two because of controlled here. So we know we control this region. That's one. We control. Nope. In the blue region, we've got one, two. Three, four, five, so that'd be two. One, two, three, four, five, so that's the third region. One, two, no, one, two, three, four, five. Yep, so that's four regions. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five regions. Six regions. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Seven. Is that correct? Do I only not have two? One. Two. Yeah. That's definitely worth doing that. Control the most number of states, yes. Yeah, so we've got three from down here. One, two, three. Blue, we control. Brown, we control. So that's another six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think this was just an exit card for us at this one time. One, two, three states. Out of five, so that's a yes. This is one. Two, so that's a no. Uh, can't have eleven. Oh yes, we can because it's three. Three plus one plus two. So that's four. Two, three, four. No, no. Yes, yes, yes. So another nine. Excellent. That was an amazing turn. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, what is our? Once per turn, you can discard four registered voters to play a second card from your hand and take its fundraiser. I think I wanted this for the campaign action, so... I'm not a huge fan of this card, actually, so we'll get rid of four voters. One, two, three, four. Just raise the 80. 20, 40, 60, 80. And then we will draw one, two more cards back. Uh, 
uh, which do not match. That's a shame. Okay. So we are into our first debate. Let's have a sip of coffee. So we are moving to Cleveland. Where did we end up? We've basically been moving up the east coast into Ohio. And the next one's over in Denver, Colorado. So we might... One, two, three, four... We could get down with it, only a four move to Texas and try and start campaigning down here. Maybe save a last push for California's 55 votes, but... We are winning at the moment, just gobbling up some of the smaller voter states. The only player using the 10 cards previously set aside for the debate. Shuffle these cards and draw one each turn to see which issues get moved on the debate track. The AI player will always go first in the same turn order as the game. The debate section of the solo play has two sections, the debate topic section and the rabbit trail section. The AI debate turn evaluate the debate topic section first, followed by the rabbit. This section shows a grid, two rows, three columns, which correspond to this. Okay, so let's bring it up and put these tokens on. So we should be talking about education, housing and the environment, as well as aid, immigration, and something, who knows what that is. The arrow player will move the issue that corresponds to each check in this grid. If there are two checks, they move two spaces. That makes sense. Let's flip over a card. So they will move housing and aid. One space. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. And then... This section show, shows consists of a row of three to six issue icons, as well as a number under the first icon. The number indicates how many out of issues the AI player will either put out or move up on its track. After the debate topic section is fully resolved, examine the rabbit trail section. The AI player will activate the number of rabbit trails given by the number below the first icon. A rabbit trail is always defined as an issue not in the original set of topics. Start with the first icon and moving down the row left to right, evaluate each issue to determine if it is a valid rabbit trail. If, you, if the issue is not part of the original six debate topics, then place that token on the first space of the AI player's debate track, if it is not already on the debate arena. If it is on the deb debate arena, move it one space. Okay, so let's have a look what they drew. They have... utility that they are adding. And they will move it... because I presume they then go to the second... Has really cared about fertility issues. My turn then. So I could respond to his fertility issues. And we had this one card set aside. So this really talks about the issues at hand. I'm going to go with this card and let's put the cards on the correct sides. So I'm going to talk twice about aid and move it back to the middle and then to me. Uh, whatever this is, and I also talk about tanks, because I think tanks are cool. Let's just check this. Voter reaction. If there is a debate icon on the played card that does not match any of the debate issue markers already on the arena, a candidate has inserted a new issue into the debate. Add the matching marker for that issue to the centre of the debate arena, then move it one space for each uh, time that icon appears. For the rest of the debate, any player can now play cards matching that issue. Okay, so that was our turn. He cares about this first issue, education. Fair enough. And then three of these other issues. So, gay rights are not on there. 
So he will campaign twice, one, two, about gay rights. And then also about whatever this is. That's his three extra icons. Okay. So no one cares about square issues yet, so I can't use this card. No one cares about any triangle or square issues, so I can't use this card. People like tanks, I could talk more about tanks and health care. Or I could try and talk a little about these other squiggly topics. He's still going to win those. We can reduce it. Gain 30 million each time your opponent plays a politic action. I've not seen him do those. That might not be overly relevant. Oh, there was one. I'm not sure what the card breakdown for all of those actions are. Um, it looks like most of it is campaign. Let's really talk about guns. Or drugs, drugs and tanks, or medic Medicare? No, that's got to be Medicare. Yeah. I introduced tanks, and I really want to talk about tanks. Why is my opponent dodging this issue? Um, oh, I should have drawn another card. No, I need one more. Trade any number of cards with your running mate. Not great. Ooh, that's nice to campaign over for California. California and Texas advertisement. Although it's only it's only those two states, which isn't great. Um, so my opponent has now debated. Oh, he's going heavy on the debate. He's talking about housing. Whatever that is, twice. And Immigration. And he's introducing no new topics into the debate. It's a shame. I think I'm talking about this. No, because that's my campaign for California. No one cares about squares. I have squares. could talk about this one, which isn't a great card, and lose the debate. We're going to talk about health and drugs. He definitely talked about the topics people cared about, and I talked about other stuff. So, end of the debate. Voter reaction. After all three debates are complete, it's time to see how the voters react to the performance of the candidates. Starting with the first plan going to order, each candidate that participated in the debate places voters from the undecided supply on the board for each issue. Uh, for each of the markers in the first place, place one. On two, place two. Yep. Oh, you then you refresh to hand limit. Okay. Um, did you play that slightly wrong? I'm not sure. I think I. Might have played a card I shouldn't have, but we'll, we'll go with it. We'll just do it right next time. Um, voters awarded for debates always come from the undecided supply. Each debate lasts three rounds. Oh, okay. So winning lots of topics is huge because yeah, he's going to place loads of voters. He plays one voter in each state containing education, two in each state containing national debt. So he's going to place one voter in each state with these icons, two in the states with these icons. I'm going to do one, two, and three. Ooh. Okay. Let's take it one icon at a time. I think there is an appendix which is not in not in the PDF version. No, 
that's a shame. I believe in the game there is a reference card which shows you all the states with a particular influence. So my apologies if I do mess this up. This is going to take a little bit to, to get right. So... Where is that symbol? Oh, California. Okay, there's your voter. Yes, California by the looks of it. So that wasn't awful for us, although it's a good state. This one... In New Jersey, which shifts to Chrome. Um, just New Jersey? No. Indiana. Didn't seem like that was enough votes just to have one person. Okay. Education. I think I saw that was Texas, wasn't it? Yeah, that's a shame. Texas gets one. For education. So he's, he's gone in to try and sway the voters of both California and Texas, which is not a bad plan for him. He wants that. Okay. He gets two voters in each date. He's been campaigning for this topic. Who cares about fertility? Where is it? Oh, California again. One, two votes. That's going to be really tough. Got to be the only one then. Yeah, it's going to be tough to come back from that. And he cares about fertility rights. Oh, so what's this? Married rights? I don't know. Equality rights? A few things that could be. So another two, two voters down here. Two in Missouri. Oh no, sorry, Mississippi. Which flips control. Two in Vermont. And housing. It's a Rhode Island issue, apparently. Louisiana. <laughs> Definitely doubled down in some of these states, hasn't he? Oh, New Mexico. That is now his. Oh, I can smell all that marmite from the twiglets over there. That's mighty. So this is nobody's. These are now mine, so. Maine. That's quite nice, that's secured a few more votes for me down here. Yeah. MD, no, MO Missouri. Looks like everyone, oh, and that tree was neutral, yeah, it's fine. One for healthcare. There are 
different tokens in the game to represent three and five. So if you're worried that the board looks like it's getting fairly cluttered, you would just take everything off and consolidate down to uh, fewer tokens. Okay. One up here. Excellent. We'll swing Wisconsin green. I imagine twiglets are not a thing in most countries because I think Marmite itself is pretty much not something the rest of the world will ever want to eat. Um, it's a bit like Vegemite in Australia, but not awful. <laughs> uh, oh, that should, that, my drug issue should be two, shouldn't it? So I get another one here. One more in Colorado. Is there another person who cared about drugs? And I've made tanks a big deal. Three voters in tanks. Who cares about tanks? Because I have a feeling you're mine. Oh, okay. One, two, three. I have Virginia, excellent. Um, let's see. How, how monstrous could I make a meeple for five? Obviously, five, isn't it? I take one more off. I think that might be a bit too much for so far. That's okay. So, I'm not sure if Virginia was still mine, but it definitely is. We've done Delaware, Virginia. Anywhere else care about tanks? Nevada. Let's put, even though it's a big one, I've made this giant meeple now. Five voters there. Five. I mean, states like Texas, I don't really have to, do I? But make the map look a little clearer. Rhode Island his. Yeah. Okay, so he has come out of the debate winning. Which I guess when you have control of New York as well. Yeah, he has <laughs> California, Florida, New York and Texas. Those are some pretty big states. So I need to try and flip something now. I need one more card in my hand. And we are ready for the second month. So that is a third of the game, basically. We've got 10 actions, another debate, 10 more actions, and then it's going to be whoever's winning. So, you need to register voters. You will take nine. One. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Sorry, I'm feeling. Need for a stretch. Okay. Um, if you guys are lurking. Actually, did I put a campaign trail command? I'm pretty certain I did. Why can I not find. My internet. There we go. There's a little bit about the game as well. You can always do exclamation mark commands to see all the different commands for the game, but lurking is fine. I feel like you have to um, to be constantly talking in the chat to be here but if you do want to say hi or you've got some advice or just queries about the game or just want to talk about life that is also fine 
So he's done his register action. Let's see what we've got. I like the campaign trail for California when we get over there. Ooh, that's potentially quite a nice set of... Uh, Indiana, we're in Ohio, so we can do this now. We could influence Ohio, Indiana, and Kentucky. We've got people, we've got money. Let's do it. It's going to cost us 40 million. Normally be 60. But we've got the discount. One, two, three, four, five, six voters. We have to put one in Ohio. Which is fine because it's worth 18 votes anyway. Let's put one more in Kentucky. And the remaining four, I'm going to take Ohio. Who's control here? Libertarian? Yeah. With Ohio, we flip the lead back in our favour. Who else could we have? We could have campaigned in Indiana. But they're ahead by four there anyway. So it would take a lot for us to flip that. Play at the beginning of an opponent's turn. Pick a region token. If that opponent ends their turn in this region, gain two registered voters. Ooh, we have control here, don't we? We do, so we should have gained two registered voters at the start of our turn. Because of this. That's pretty useless to us, but campaigning. That's pretty close to where we are. Cam uh, Kentucky, WV, and VA. We're winning those anyway. Advertise. It's only one voter, but in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven states. That's pretty good. I think I'd only use this for the advertise action. What are we debating? Squares. Squares is good in the debate. So maybe we're saving this card of the debate. It would be nice if we could get... Oh, this would help us with California. Ah, but it's our campaign for California. We are debating squares. We can go for this card as well. Whether we want to move... Move to Massachusetts and then... Do this campaign action. We haven't got an actual move apart from this, though. Let's use our advertise action. This only costs us 20 million. And we will place one voter in seven states. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Get rid of these so I don't get confused. We're looking at parachutes, and that would be Maine, I think it is. Yeah, a couple of parachutes down in some small states. Yeah, we've got these wrapped up, haven't we? Uh, one more parachute over here, and then I need one, two, which helps down here, and one more in Ohio. So that didn't gain us any seats, but we have helped to defend our heartland, 
in Ohio. Yeah, that might have been a bit of a wasted one if I'd looked at where we were, but I'm okay with that. Takes three voters. Ooh, that's good. Because if we played it towards the end, we might be able to use it to swing one of the big states. Or we could just dump everything, put three in Florida. I mean, it's not fantastic, actually, is it? Do we need to vote? Need to get voters up here? We would have two campaign cards. We could really turn this part green. That might be worth doing. Dummy player, though. So this happens automatically, uh, which means it doesn't have to come from his track. It actually comes straight from his pool. So he's going to look at Illinois, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and Texas. Illinois is tied up, so he will be placing three. One, two, three. In Illinois, which I believe swings it to the Libertarians. And New Jersey is tied, so again, one, two, three, he will take New Jersey. Let's um, give him a, a large meeple over here. That flips. Then he's looking at EA. We're both in here with five then. Ooh. Everything's deselected. Which means he wins the tiebreaker back. I thought I was doing pretty well here. He's got a big old lead at the minute. And final one is Texas. If he's ahead by five, which he is, he doesn't have anything more to Texas. Ooh, that was pretty bad. We lost Pennsylvania. And New Jersey. Okay. I've got one card here. So, in terms of movement, um, we're going to get two people. Right, we don't have a movement card except for this campaign one, which I want to keep. This one, this one. And I think out of the two, this is a better card because we could go into. Going to Massachusetts. Um, actually, these territories up here are only worth seven votes. This one, uh, we could be in New York and affect Massachusetts, Connecticut. Delaware, we've got locked up. Seems a shame to use a plain card just to move here, though. But that's what we're doing. Turn to your home state and place three voters. Okay. So our turn was just to fly. He has enough voters, so he's going to place one voter in these states, unless he's winning by a big margin, which I don't think he's going to be. Let's take six of his meeples. So we've got Illinois. And one, two, three, four, five. Pretty certain that's already set to you, but there you go. Uh, Missouri. Where's that? 
Okay. No, no. And J. Winning New Jersey by three, but that's not enough. He might still be winning it by five. New York. He wants Ohio. And PA. And you're already winning the tiebreaker, but just to be sure, PA is yours. So he's got a clear advantage. 3 15. But we are now looking at campaigning. So 40 million. Well, we have enough voters, so let's get rid of those. We probably will get rid of one of our cards as well. This one doesn't have a fundraise. This is only 90 million. But let's play it for the 90 million. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90. Get rid of four voters. And six of you. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, can come up here. We have to place one where we are, which is New York, which is good because we're losing that at the minute. I had to put up five today. I'm tempted to put them all in New York now that we're losing it. But let's try two in Connecticut and four in New York. Still winning, but it's much closer. Still got MA, haven't we? Yeah. Okay. Drawing another New York card would be useful. Two cards at the beginning of each debate. You may discard four registered voters to play a second card from your hand and take its fundraising action. We've already got that. I like this for the advertise action, so we might do that. He's still not done a, an advertise. Has he filled five? No, he's not filled five. He only has two here, so he will take 12 voters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, seven, twelve. Let's do an advertise. Oh no, we don't have people. We only get one, two. You can re-register. Register those nine, I suppose. Yeah, we'll take those nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Doing a politic, which happens automatically. Oh boy, here we go. One, two, three. So, Arkansas, you're not winning. Three in Arkansas, now you are. Mm, a Massachusetts, you're not winning. One, two, three. Now you are. 
Missouri. Oh no. One, two, three. You take Missouri. Ah, uh, Michigan. Sorry. MJ. You are winning by at least three, so you do nothing. And a C. Uh, losing. This will give you your fifth voter, so let's take those off. You can have a monster. And now you're winning. I am really worried to look at this. Whoa. I need to swing. I mean, swinging California is just enough. So I'm not. Oh, I'm not completely out, but it's not looking great. If I can do a good um, campaign on these subjects, though, which I'm not at the moment. Yeah, none of these issues are part of the debate. I mean, well, this one is. Okay, that's good. Place any number of registered photos on this card and a card from your hand. Um, oh, at the game end. Place the registered voters from this card into the reference state. So we could look at Florida, although this is a nice California, California campaign. We could we could secretly have those twenty nine votes locked up. So I think someone's at the door. Won't they? Right. Apologies. Let's see, where were we? Um, I think we were just looking at how horrifically we were losing. Did we finish doing this card? Um, mm -mm. no, I gave him, oh yeah, Tennessee, he's got Arkansas, Arkansas, yeah. Swordfish101, hello, hello. Been lurking for a while. Is this a game that you know? Have you got it already and you're backing the expansion or...? Just enjoy games and have been lurking the stream. I like absentee ballot for Florida, even though we'd lose that campaign. Um, California is tricky to get back at this point. I'm going to go for it. Absentee ballot. Where can I put this? That's not going to just flip it. Let's place that here. So, place any number of registered voters on this card. How many do we think will lock up Florida? He's got the tiebreaker. 
and it's 29 Electoral College votes, which is a big deal. I think I might, I might say everyone in Florida, all, all six of these voters, really wants to vote for me, but the weather's been fantastic, and they can't be bothered to queue up on election day, so they're all voting ahead of time, because that is sensible. Absentee ballot needs the Florida card. Game stacking's too good. There we go. So at the end of the game, unbeknownst to our AI, we are placing six extra voters into Florida. Uh, yes, so this is with the Green Party expansion, which is basically just a fourth player, um, and it does add a AI which also takes part in the debates. Although from what I can tell, I think it's just an extra deck of cards that you would need to incorporate it if you just wanted it as a three-player game with the AI to debate. Um, yeah, it looks like quite a simple mechanism for the debating. But it is on Kickstarter now. I think it's got another week or two that it's running. Um, but I just, yeah, I really struggled to find any playthrough online. I found a partial one, but it was quite old. And some rule run-throughs, but no real explanation as to how the game went. So I thought, I like it. I like the sound of it. Let's give it a try. So here I am. That's my turn. I need one. Two cards to refill my hand because I'm setting this one aside for the debate. Pick up two states in your current region in which you are behind. Place enough voters to bring you to a tie. Oh, hello. I'm massively losing Louisiana and Texas. That would be worthwhile. That's fantastic. I mean, I'd have to get over there. But our debate in Colorado. We could move down to Texas. Or we'll look at even just tiny things in California. You're looking at it now. It's a dangerous game, Kickstarter, isn't it? Well, I've only just noticed the costs are up here as well. I've been keeping this rule reference open. Yeah. It's a nice map. AI, their track is large enough so they're going to campaign again, and they are California, they are more than three votes ahead, so they will leave that. Hawaii, they are behind, so they will take three to Hawaii, but I still have a tiebreaker. Nevada, oh yeah, I went heavy on the tank vote, didn't I? That's why I'm winning there by so much. And Oregon, they are winning, but only marginally, so they will... And now I'll be winning by a bit more. How many turns before the debate? Four more. Okay, so even the score I like, but probably for in the final round. It leaves me with... If you take an action that places voters on the board, gain one registered voter and 10 million. Oh, that's really good. Because I gain two voters because I still control most of these states. Um, thanks to the registration drive. Yeah, I'm going to play a bit late for it. Let's hit the trail. I've got 14 actions left in the game. That should get me a fair few extra voters. Particularly because I don't need a huge amount of money because I'm the wealthy candidate. That's my turn. I'll draw one more card. Dummy player. They're not going to register. They're already way above that, so they're going to make sure they're winning California by six, <laughs> which they are not. They will add, that's only one more, one more in California. Uh, Texas, 
Now, Florida by five. They're not winning Florida by five. So they'll add one more. Secretly, I know that's still fine. Georgia. Oof. Coming for my home, home region. New York. They're not winning. But this will be their fifth meeple, so let's just put a giant one for tidiness. But I'm still winning. Need to get one off that track. Ohio. Again, they aren't winning. There's one more. It hasn't flipped any so far, which is good. And Texas. They are winning Texas by six. They won't bother with that. Oh, tune then. Oh, is this good for the... Yes, this is good for the debate as well. Got two cards for the debate. This one would work for the debate, but... I'm introducing education, so I could do this one. I want to do this now as an advertise action, because that's a lot of states. The advertising is normally 20 million per issue, but I get a 20 million discount, so I will spend 40, 20, 40 million. Um, I do still control my home states, so I should have gained another two voters at the start of the turn as well. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten voters on the board. Um, that should be everyone but them. Yep. Ten voters. And before I forget, because of this card, we're putting voters on the board, we will gain one voter and a million. Let's see, does this help us? We've got a housing up here, Rhode Island. Excellent, so that brings it back for us. <laughs> Still massively behind. We've got a passport up here, Vermont. Okay, that's fine. We've got New York. Yeah, one voter in New York. Indiana. Kentucky, let's give that shores up Kentucky a little bit more. Minnesota, it's a tough one up there, but good to have another person in Iowa. And one voted down here in Louisiana. This is very much a battleground, look at this. One in New Mexico and Arizona. Oh, those are really good votes actually. New Mexico brings me up to five. So we're back tied. Turns it in my favour. So I did only gain nine votes because of that. Nine uh, nine college seats. Swordfish, are you are you American? Does this political um, setup actually make sense to you? They're going to register voters because they've not reached the five track. One, two, three. One, two, three. Two times for the debate. Or oh, one more card. It's a nice, it's a nice debate topic. Am I still in New York? I am. We are winning New York. We could also. Look at Connecticut, Rhode Island, and Massachusetts. If he if he brings one of these debate topics in, though, that would be nice. Um, I'm winning in our home state, so I get two more people. I'm tempted to return to our home state. We could come back to Georgia.
and place three voters, which would get us another 10 million and a voter. And we could campaign, but not the best campaign. We could move. Where would we get? One, two, three. We could get to Tennessee. No, that doesn't reach. Three. Yeah, that's as fast as we get, so our movement isn't enough. Um, we don't need to fundraise, really. Could do this advertisement. We would lose a voter, though. Let's just... Let's get nine registered voters. I think that's as good as we're going to get. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This one automatically occurs. So uh, he's going to place in MA if he's not winning. He is winning by three. He wants to win by five. <laughs> he needs one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. But let's take one out and give him a big needle. But he has MA, in case that wasn't already clear. Um, he also wants NY. He isn't winning New York, but four extra votes will give him New York. One, two, three, four. This, uh, this isn't looking great, is it? And he also wants Washington. We'll give him Washington. One, two, three, four. This looks like a landslide. The biggest state I'm winning in is Ohio. Hmm. Draw two cards and play them, you must choose a different action for each card. Okay, okay, I like that. We get two voters. This is quite good for the debate, actually. Does it link? No, it's not linked to what we have. It's got a lot of symbols on it, which he might introduce one of them. If not, I've got this card, which at least I could use. So I want to use this card to advertise, I think, then. It costs 20. And we'll place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven voters. We're going North Carolina, Missouri, uh, Mississippi, sorry, which does give us control on the tie break. Wisconsin, that in the middle, Colorado. Utah. Utah is mine. Ooh, we'll take Washington back with our fourth photo. That's really good. And I missed one somewhere, did I? One, two, three. We did. Did North Carolina. Did Missouri. Did Wisconsin. Must have picked up eight. Did Colorado, Utah. Uh, 
side of Henry Washington. Yeah, I'm pretty certain. Okay. So I'll draw one more card. Like a state you're behind, you place three voters in that state. An opponent places two voters in any other state. That's a good card, because it links on fuel. And trees and housing. Yes, excellent. So that can be our third campaign card. Meaning I can do diverse strategy. Oh, uh, we get ten and one voter because we put people on the map. Uh, which game is this? This is Campaign Trail, uh, which is currently on Kickstarter. The Kickstarter is for the Green Party, which is why this track looks slightly different, which is basically um, US politics. I'm playing as the Green and Libertarians, which is why the colours aren't the normal blue and red, because that's probably a little bit contentious at the moment, uh, with how heated that election is getting. But although it's a political game, this is not something that forces your hand in terms of which side of particular topics you're on. So quite divisive things like gun control or uh, this looks like same-sex marriage or fertility rights. You don't have to say, you know, there aren't cards which are I am pro this or con that. You just debate a particular topic and gain voters accordingly. Um, you can have whatever political opinion you like on it. Um, it's not real candidates. I mean, I'm playing the wealthy candidate, which you could say is Trump, but, you know, could be anyone. So it's quite a nice, it's just an area control game, really. Um, a bit of hidden actions. So I've got one card I've played, which will reveal at the end of the game. Doesn't really work against an AI, but yeah, it's quite nice, quite streamlined. At the moment, though. I'm losing horrifically. The Libertarians have all the major US states. Texas, Pennsylvania, New York, Florida, California. Give them big votes so they're way out in front. Um, if you do exclamation mark, actually, let me type it in. Do, 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 do. Exclamation mark campaign trail. There is a link uh, to its board game geek. And I don't think I've set up game, actually, I think it just says board games at the moment. Yeah. Um, normally when I set the title, I'll put an exclamation mark command as well for what the game is. Um, so, for example, there is exclamation mark Mage Knight, um, because I often play Mage Knight. So if you do swing by the stream again, um, and you're lurking, wondering what it is, normally the game command will tell you what it is, and then there's an exclamation mark name of the board game. Which will tell you a little bit more about the game. Um, and there are rules that I'm adding on as well. So depending how much you want to know about the game, it's there. Okay. So he was taking his final turn. Which... He has enough voters. He's going to look at securing down some states. So... Arkansas... No. A it says AK, but it's showing AZ. Interesting. Card 34. I'm just going to make a note of that, because as I say, this is still on Kickstarter. And that may be a card that they have not picked out on. They are losing that state, so they will place extra voters there and take control. And... Oh no, it does. Sorry. I've written down AK for Arkansas Roots and Easter. That's why it's perfectly fine, and I just don't understand American states. So they have taken Alaska from me. I have also done Arizona. Colorado, they are winning by two, which they're fine with. New Mexico, we are tied. So they will take New Mexico. Uh, Utah, they are losing. That's oh, a nice stack of meatballs. Actually, that's going to be five. The game does come with custom meatballs for all of the parties. 
with threes and fives, basically just a larger turtle with a five on the back, nice wooden token. That's on Kickstarter if you're interested. Washington. Ah, no, I'm winning Washington. Washington. And they will place people in as well. Three, four, five. Large meeple. I am... Um, I am getting... <laughs> it's even gone off the edge of the trap. Mm. Um, I think it's Constellation Jaffa Cake time. I'm going to play this card. So I can immediately draw two card, and I must choose a different action for each one to perform. So we've got... Advertise. We could travel, but this is the last turn before a debate, so that's pointless. Um, so I think we're just going to use 12 voters here to register and advertise. There's no advertise action here. We could, we could fundraise 120 and register nine voters. No, we'll, we'll take the 12 voters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And we will pay uh, 40 million on the advertise action. Oh, actually, why don't I cut that on first? 40 million for the advertise. 1, 2, 40. And we are placing one up in passport control in Vermont. One in Wisconsin and Iowa or Idaho. Which one are you? Iowa. He hasn't fought me for Kentucky. This is one of my safe seats at the moment. One in Texas. One in Colorado. One in Arizona. And one in Washington. So that didn't swing any votes, which is unfortunate. Okay, so we're now at the debate. We will move to Denver, Colorado, which is quite a marginal seat at the moment. Four to five, good place for a debate. And these are our new debate topics. So we care about pointy things and Oh yeah, we cared about pointy things last time as well. Pointy things and square things. And the dummy player will go first. So he will bring the first topic into the conversation. There's two lines of chuck marks at the very top, which correspond with these icons. So he's talking about that. And then he starts talking off topic. And he's going to introduce two of these if they're not already part of the debate. So he's going to talk about piggy banks. And he's going to talk about fertility. So now I can play my cards. Oh, I need one more. Based on those topics. Uh, no one cares about circles yet, so I can't use this topic. That's quite a nice advertisement campaign because it's got California if I do keep it. But I, I prefer to pick two pick two states you're behind in. If I could get California or Texas using that card would be fantastic. It's a hundred vote swing. 
So let's just use this card as our starting talking point. We're going to talk twice about money, once about briefcases, and once about fuel. Dummy player then talks a lot about trees, about housing, and a little bit about money. So where are these states? Fuel. Who cares about oil? Do extra votes matter for me here? Get me this state. Here. West Virginia's votes. Briefcase, New Hampshire to get those votes. Oh, the money topic is in our heartland here. I don't want to lose Georgia. I do have this card to pull it out of the bag if I need to, if he starts talking too much about that topic. Yeah, Briefcase, South Dakota is quite close to swinging, but it's only three votes. Oh, I could take his 16 from Michigan, that's worth it. New Hampshire's vote. Okay, let's double down on actually the topics at hand. Fortunately, with education, he's going to get even more voters in Texas. But we go, we talk once more about briefcases, and twice about oil. His final topic is going to talk twice about briefcase. And he would talk about trees, but they're already part of the debate. So he introduces passport control, which we can now latch on to. And then I can keep this card. So we would still win three extra votes in those oil states, which are pretty good. And this is then two votes in Arizona, which would win. It would get us one vote in California, which I don't really care about. One vote. Who cares about aid? Arsenal's from Missouri. Not a lot of votes there. We're already winning this one. Hmm. So it's for the passport control, really, that I'd play this. But Kentucky is ours. Arizona. Really only Arizona. So although I prefer to keep this card, which states are there I could advertise in? MA. UT. Massachusetts is pretty gone for us, to be honest. Yeah, let's go for it. Uh, so we talk once about education, twice about money, once briefcase. And then we will place extra voters accordingly. So he gets two extra voters for everywhere that cares about trees. It's up here, unfortunately, but he does really have the Alaska vote. Um, where else? Wyoming. Again, he already had this vote. So it's not, I mean, I'm saying it like it's a, a surprise. He has most votes. It's three more. In Illinois. No, what's he getting three? He's getting two. Take that out. Take that out. I think I took three out of it. Yeah, that's, that makes sense. 
Um, so that's that topic done. And then one vote each. These symbols. So fertility. He does take Mississippi from me. Utah, Idaho. Education. Another Texas vote for him. That's only Texas, I believe. Those big topics are oh, the big states, only get one. Housing. He's going to take Rhode Island. He's even taking my small votes now. Hmm. Uh, Oh, not a big one down here. Only one extra voter. Okay. And immigration. Passport control or something. On there. Idaho, Arizona, okay, okay, let's see then, can I swing anything back? I have one extra voter, anywhere with a briefcase. New Hampshire, but not enough to swing it. Yes, we're four to four, so Michigan comes back. And South Dakota's tied. And he gets it. Oh, and Kansas. Okay. So we've almost pulled him back, so he's completely onto the track. Everywhere here, I get three votes. Oil. One, two, three, Montana. Kansas, one, two, three, and that's Arkansas. Green. Who else cares about oil? There's got to be somebody else. That's not many votes. Arkansas. Montana. Who have I missed? Ah, Virginia. One, two, three. You're green. Oh. Green. And, oh, here we are. This is what it was worth doing it for. Get in there. One, two, three. We have Pennsylvania back after a long, hard fight. That's good. And money, basically just showing up our heartland over here. We get rid of two of these voters. We get rid of two of these voters. Probably it. Is there one more? The smaller states. That's it, but I don't think we lost too much on that debate. That came back pretty well. And we've kept this card in our hand. So we can... Oh no, that... I guess that you're behind in. No. It wasn't the one I wanted to keep. That was the one I wanted to keep. Oh, oh, 
that feels awful. I wanted to use that to even the score in California. Um, okay. Okay, it's gone. Take three cards. One, two, three. What do we got? We're going to need something pretty good. Original influence makes it cheaper and you get more. Another voter registration drive. I'm not sure if there's any states with a lot in here now. I guess we're doing okay in this part of the country currently. One, two, Somehow still keeping Alabama with just one voter. That's fun. He's never gone for Alabama. We've lost Alaska. Well, we are in this region, so this looks like a good place to campaign. Do I want to go for another voter registration? We don't have a lot of money. But we can do one. We're going to get two people. Let's get rid of four of our people to fundraise for that. One, two, three, four. So that's just a free action um, because of this. We could do the voter registration. We keep getting it. It's a shame we didn't get that early, but there's still still ten turns, so it could be worth twenty people, which is better than most registration cards would ever give you. Problem is, we're not winning many states. Um, I never took that money, did I? 100,000, that's what we wanted. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Then we can do 40,000 to campaign. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go for the other voter registration drive. I'm running out of space to place these. I go here. At the beginning of our turn, if we control the most in. Oh, over here at the moment, do we... We're winning one, two, three. And we hope he doesn't come for this region. Let's go for that yellow region. Let's move this over here as well. So those are our two regions. He's going for... A registry action and he gets 12. Come on, that's monstrous. We still haven't seen him do an advertise action either. So this has not helped us. We need two more cards. Campaign in California, that's pretty good. Advertise for Texas. Uh, 
Um, so he hasn't taken control, so we will get four more meeples. But I think I will chuck this card, because I don't plan to go back over there. A bit of fundraising. 20, 40, 60, 80. And then we could do regional influence. And make our campaigning in the centre here cost less, but they're not they're not great. Nice campaign. With a nice advertisement as well. We're gonna stand a chance, we've got to take California, I think. So we need this card. Actually. Ah well, we need this travel, that's okay. Let's campaign then for 40 million. 2040. And we can place we can place six. One, two, three, four, five, six people in the state we're at or adjacent to. So we're in Colorado. Does Colorado touch Arizona? Not sure. We don't get the tie break here, so let's place two. Which gives us a giant meeple. Ah, I don't know what we want. I just want a big one, don't want to dump more people over. That's two people. One, two. We got the extras around the board so I don't get confused. Which wins us Colorado. And we have to place at least one there. New Mexico would win the tiebreaker with three. Utah would need two, so we don't have enough people for both. We go to Arizona, we can put people in California and New Mexico. But we'd need to be in California and put all six in California, and even then we don't win it. Um, but because we placed people on the board, gain that. Draw two cards. One, two. He's taking a political action, which is a direct action. AR. Is he winning? AR. Arizona. No. Arkansas. Arkansas. He is not. <laughs> Come on. We're going to place three people there. One, two, three. Which he needs to just get a big person there. So he wins that. And Florida is not winning by four, so he will place three people there. Again, let's go to two. A.S. Kansas is not winning that, so he will place three people there. He's even taken all of the small states. K.Y. We'll place one, two, three, but that's still ours. And M.O. Three people in Missouri, but we still win that tiebreaker. Okay. No, we don't. He's got four. <laughs> All right. What did we get there? We need some good stuff. Each time we play a card with a host state highlighted. No. 
advertisement. So this would get us two votes in California. Okay. Um, we are still winning in both of those other states. So we get one, two, three, four voters, and we are going to spend 20 million to advertise twice. That gets us two voters in California. That's it. He has filled up to the five, so he will do a campaign action. Arizona, he is not winning by four. More in Arizona. Colorado, he is not winning. I was really hoping he wouldn't come back to these states. Colorado. Nevada. Gone. Oregon is his by four, which he's fine with. Washington is his by two, so he wants it more. Okay, that's pretty bad. Okay, we could try and steal somewhere at the end. Kentucky, I think we have anyway. WR is 10 votes. Ohio is 18, but we're winning it. MN. Montana. Okay, I like this card, but just not for what we have available. We're placing six people in Florida, so we do have that 29 votes coming our way. If there was something like that for New York, that'd be a nice swing at the end. So we get those four voters, one, two, three, four, and we should have got one and ten last turn because we've got people on the board. We are just going to move to California, I think, no, Arizona. What do we want to win back? We've got Hawaii on the tiebreak. Let's go to Arizona. We're gonna put no, we want to be in California, so we're gonna put all six people in California. Then we're winning it by two. Which isn't great, but it's something. This was kind of gone. He needs to register, so that's one, two, three. Okay, that was a bit of a dead turn for him. That was good. Now we draw a card. We take an action that puts voters on the board. It's too late for this now. Uh, we will campaign for 40 million. We're gonna get one, two, three, four voters because we control. One, two, three, yeah. So we need two more. One, two. So we're going to get a vote here yeah. and 10 million. So we will just pay 30. No. Yeah, it's normally 60. We pay 40. And we're getting 10 back. We can place six voters into California. Put one in here. It's a long photo. And that swings California green. All of a sudden it doesn't look so terrible. So AI will do more registering. Just six this time. One, two, three. One, two, three. And we draw a card. Ooh, we can put money there. 
Uh, place Xvotas in its reference state. So for every 50 million still in our chest. Otherwise, A, A, Z, Arizona, we could try and swing Arizona at the end. Louisiana, Virginia, Wisconsin, or Minnesota. Mm, none of them are great. I'd like to do both of these surprise the cards. Just not on the ones we have. So uh, I want to. Get rid of this card with our four free voters we're going to get for the 90 million. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90 million. Which makes the October surprise pretty tempting. And we will play this advertisement. So we're going to pay 40 million, 20, 40. Because we're placing meeples, we're going to get that and 10 million back. So we're placing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 meeples. That Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Bring it up here and have a look. Okay, okay. New Hampshire swings it green. ME, Maine, Lars. Two parachutes down here. Washington. And Maryland have been pretty consistent for us. One more in Florida. One here. Which state should be ours? Is it still green? Montana. And Missouri even. Which does flip it because we have a first tiebreaker. Kansas. Which flips it because we are the first tiebreaker. Oh, this is pretty good. SD. Which flips it. And North Dakota. Which stays his because. And then Hawaii. We were winning anyway. How does that look? Oh, hello. This is the best it's looked for quite some time, isn't it? Okay. Five turns left. Five turns left. Now we need two cards. Has he reached the six space? He has not. He is just going to do registry again. One, two, three. So, unfortunately, this means he has a lot of voters stockpiled. This is just place voters at the end of the game, which is really going to mess me up. But. And now it's slow turns for him. Uh, draw one card each time your opponent plays a campaign action. That would be amazing. Because nearly every card he's done has been campaign actions. We will get one, two, three, four voters. Let's have that Colorado. Oh, they're both Colorado. Colorado is just a square. It's here. Okay, we are we are not winning Colorado. It's nine votes. We could play October Surprise for Colorado. And hopefully our money at the end swings that our way. We 
we'd need at least 150 million to get basically three voters in here. Yeah, let's go for it. Colorado, October surprise. We get two cards, one, two, dummy player. Um, he is not up to the eight, so he will just register again. One, two, three. Three turns left. We can get one, two, three, four voters. Briefcase. I think I'm winning briefcase and oil, wasn't I? Because we, we campaigned there quite a lot. We're not winning here. New Hampshire we're winning. Michigan we're winning. North Dakota we're winning, Tanner we're winning, I don't think that's great. So we could get rid of four people for even more money. Oh, this is Washington State, I don't think that's worth, oh it's worth 12 votes. He's winning that by five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay, so I want to do absentee ballot on Washington. Absentee ballot. Any number of registered voters on this card. Place that game end. I want to place. Five would win us on a tiebreaker. Let's do six. I don't think, considering he's winning by five, that he should want to place more in them. Hopefully, if we can take Florida, Washington, and Colorado at the end. Is that 21? That's 50 votes. So in his next few turns, he's probably going to take a lot, but we are, we're definitely still within touching distance of him. He then, he's high enough on the track, so he is going to campaign. And he's got to place four cubes in each of these spaces. So DE Delaware. Four in Delaware. Excellent. He doesn't take control. The next one. Um, how does it compare to other automas in ease of play? Doesn't seem like it requires too much maintenance. Zeit Verdrief, is that, is that German, Belgian, Danish? Um, hello, hello. Um, the Automa, yeah, it's really simple. Um, he does one of two things. He either fills up this purple track at the bottom if it's not high enough, or he places some cubes. Um, this is a reference because some cards trigger from certain actions, but it's really easy to, to manage. Um, you can have multiple uh, Automa decks as well, but um, considering it's a little more cluttered without a physical board, I didn't want to have four different parties spread across, but you can, you just need multiple copies of the same deck. Um, although I think you could make do with only one copy if you really wanted to. There's 50 cards, you'd use 30, 10 in each month for campaigning, 15 during the debate, going for each of the AIs. Um, yeah, so you could do it each month and reshuffle. You're Danish, but your nickname's German. It means pastime. Okay, that's cool. I'm going to say it sounded sort of from that region, but I, I've i tried many languages. Um, it just doesn't stick. I'm sorry. English brain. We, um, we're too lazy, I guess, because everyone speaks English to us. Uh, I've tried Italian, Spanish, German, Portuguese, Chinese, Japanese, but more just hobby languages. 
uh, sweet game for seven. Yeah, I've I've been enjoying it. Um, so I'm just gonna. Where do we get? We just did uh, Delaware, didn't we? Idaho. I'm just gonna finish this card so I don't just start giving him loads more attention. But yeah, strangely there wasn't. I can't find these U.S. states. Oh, they're all over here now. Um, yeah, there weren't too many playthroughs online, which, considering the game's pretty well rated on Board Game Geek, I think it's... I want to say 7.9? Which is it's quite high, um, considering the weighting that Board Game Geek gives to bring the average down to a 5. Um, there wasn't many playthroughs. So Idaho... Montana... He isn't winning, so he will put four people there. Nevada. He isn't winning, so unfortunately that's... Did I give him Montana? Montana's his, Nevada's now his. Utah. Utah is his by three. So he won't put anyone there. Wyoming is his by two. He wants to win by one, so he won't put anyone there. Okay. So there's two more turns for him, three for us then. We've still somehow got control of both of these states, or majority is in them. So one, two, three, four, yeah. So we get four extra people. One, two, three, four. We could go for a diverse strategy. I might save that for a, a panic finale if we need it. Um, I want to keep at least 150. Actually, is it worth playing now? We might have to travel. Yeah, let's let's go for it. We draw two cards. One. So I've got to do different actions. So strong base, when you take a support action from the first card you play on your turn, you may take an additional support action from that card. A support action. What is a support action? Support actions. Travel, fundraise, register. Oh, that's quite nice. Not at this point in the game. That's quite nice. Move up to three committed voters from any states. To any adjacent states, or we can advertise Hawaii, Florida, Texas. We're not getting Texas. North Dakota would be the only one that matters there, and North Dakota, their three votes do not matter. Do we? Do we want to do this then? We could play Strong Base, I suppose, first, then Fundraise. Ah, no, but there's not a second, there's not a movement action on that card. I'm tempted to Fundraise and move, to be honest, because these are quite bad. And we could either look at trying to shore up some votes. Is this the Midwest? The southern states? Southern West? I don't know what you'd call it. I guess this is the Midwest, really. We've got a few campaign cards in the middle here. Where were we? California. One, two, three, four movement gets us to Arkansas. And then we could look... Oklahoma... And Missouri's vote. And also Tennessee, Mississippi, Louisiana. As our last two cards. Focusing in this little cluster does seem probably worthwhile. They're not huge states. So 
So we take the money from this one for 120, 20, 40, 60, 80, 120. And a move of four. One, two, three, four. And we didn't take our one, two, three, four people for having state control of the Appalachians or the southeast. The Americans are barely awake yet, no need to worry about messing up their geography. Yeah, <laughs> I know, that's why I'm doing it. Um, and also, so I can uh, talk about their strange political system without getting too much hate in the chat. But yeah, take care of yourself, man. Cheers for swinging by. Um, I will be on for probably the next six hours or so, um, so feel free to swing back later. Bye for now. Alright, what's he doing? He is gonna do some registration. He doesn't have enough photos. One, two, three. It's annoying when he gets his registration act in, and it's a 12. Oh, he's chucked in a follow as well. Much appreciated. I need two more. I lost count there. Two more voters. I do like the little animation. Can I replay it? I'm sure I can. I'm just uh, not clued up enough into how, how to replay it. Okay, so we've got two more. We need one card as well in case it's something fantastic. Instead of moving your candidate pawn with a travel action, you may move one of your commercial voters with a travel action. That sounds awful. But that advertise action looks like it covers a lot of bases. So we've got two options for advertise actions, potential on the last turn. Which voter set do I think I could influence most? We're gonna get six voters. We're gonna put one in Arkansas. These voters that would be one in Tennessee, that would be one in Tennessee, and one in Oklahoma. So... We need... now we've got Missouri. We need two down here. Two, three, or five. We only need five of these votes. And then Tennessee for the sixth. And if we want to do one of the advertise actions, we'd win Tennessee as well. And that would get us 12, 20 votes. Otherwise, we're just winning Oklahoma. Yeah, this one's definitely our better option. So we're paying 40 million. Uh, we should get one, two, three, four people. First of all, I don't think we need to do a fundraise action. Because um, where are we? We're going to win Colorado. Yeah, we only need three votes in here. So we'll get rid of 20, 40 million. And where did I put the card? Over here. We can campaign, which is six meeples. One, two, three, four, five, six. So one has to go where we are. But. We need one more to win that tiebreaker. There we go. Two votes. We need three down in. I don't know, is it LA? Yes. It's 
Was that on the advertisements? No, it wasn't. Yeah, three down here. Or we could do one and two. Depending on which advert we want to run. Now three down here to take Louisiana and one in Tennessee. Which doesn't win us that vote yet. Pretty close, aren't we? Um, we get one registered voter and 10 million back because we put people on the board. But his final action. It's going to be to campaign up here, so we never, we never gained the benefit of the backlash. I was pretty certain he would, he would advertise quite a bit, but he is not. So this is three in I A. If he's not winning, he is not. But he is now. That's libertarian. I L. Oh no, that's a big one. That's okay, he's winning it anyway. He doesn't put anything there. I N is winning by three. What does he want to win by? Three, so he's fine there. M I. He's behind. Oh, that's a painful one. That's a lot of votes. Okay. MN. He's winning, so he doesn't care. WI. One, two, three. Okay, so he's going to go in there. He's got six. I've got six and keep the tie break. Okay, so that's not catastrophic. Place three voters in the state in which you're currently located. No. Um, okay, let's think then. Which, it's probably one of these two advertisements. Probably this advertisement, isn't it? Just affects more. We could campaign and take, we'd only take Oklahoma. It's not going to be this card. This would only get us three votes in the state we're in. But that's not a good card. Let's see. This is oil. We wouldn't win those three votes. That's not a big deal. We are already winning this one. But that's not a big deal. We would not win Indianapolis. So that's not a big deal. We would not win New York. And we're already winning those two. So that's not happening. This one. Piggy banks. We would not win Jersey. We would... We're already winning Delaware. We're winning Virginia. It would get us Tennessee. But so would the other one. It would get us Oklahoma. So that's seven votes. We've got... Nebraska. And this is clearly gone. So it would get us seven votes more that the other card wouldn't. So let's put it. Um, one. Well, let's just remember seven, it's not that hard, come on. Okay, this card. So, MA is a lost cause. CT, we're already winning. New Jersey is a lost cause. Up here, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, but we're winning the tiebreaker. Um, Alabama, we're already winning. Here, yeah, we still wouldn't win. California, we are winning. Up here, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So actually, that's not... Yeah, surprisingly, this one's not worth doing. So, we're going to play seven people out. 
We're getting four extra. We could could get an extra ninety million. I don't think money is worth anything at the end. But let's take the 90 million. We're spending 40 of it. So 20, 40, 50. And we will place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. So we had piggy bank, which didn't matter. The tank here. Didn't matter. We had. Virginia, already winning. The important one of the. Oh wait, where did our other voter go? One, two, three, four. Oh no, that's five. I just can't count. It's five to five. We win the tiebreak. And Oklahoma, we also win the tiebreaker. Up here, Nebraska. We did campaign for you. No, there's two voters there now. And over here. That's that done. Not that one, this one done. And we place people so we do get 10 million. That's actually going to turn out to be a huge amount of people at the end, but let's have a look. the flow chart for the AI. That's okay. Do, 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 do. Where was the end? Debate month, voter reaction, election day. The parties continue to take turns until the last card is drawn. When this happens, continue until the end of the current round. You may count the number of cards remaining in a month's deck. At the end of the round, resolve any end of game politic actions, such as October surprise or recount in turn order. The campaign is now over. Make sure that the electoral college track accurately shows which party controls each state. Party with most votes wins. So we do have a few surprises up our sleeve. October surprise, we place X voters for every 50 million. We have 350, so that'll be seven extra voters in Colorado. And Colorado, yeah. Now look at the voter turnout. Boom, voters. Also one extra little guy. So we take Colorado. We've then got a couple of absentee ballots. So we've got these voters going into Washington. Um, go a bit up this way. So that was six votes up in Washington. Swings this state. And we've also got three, four, five, six votes going into Florida. Out of nowhere, we win Florida. So let's check the states. We have Alaska, Libertarian. Washington is ours. Oregon, Libertarian. California, important, is ours. Hawaii is ours. Arizona is Libertarian. Utah, Libertarian. Nevada is Libertarian. Idaho. Is libertarian, Montana, libertarian, and Wyoming is libertarian. Colorado is ours. New Mexico, libertarian. Texas, libertarian. Oklahoma, we win a tiebreak. Kansas, one, two, three, four, five. We win the tiebreak. Nebraska's ours. South Dakota, it's ours. North Dakota, libertarians take the tiebreak. Minnesota, libertarian. Iowa Libertarian. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Missouri is ours. Get ourselves out of here. Five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Arkansas is ours. Louisiana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven to seven. We win the tiebreak. Mississippi Libertarian. Alabama. No one. No one can campaign in there today. Ours. Georgia. Is ours and Florida is ours. South Carolina is ours. North Carolina, definitely libertarian. And the sea, we win the tiebreak. Kentucky, one, two, three, four to three is 
ours. West Virginia, three to one. Ours. And Virginia is comfortably. Comfortably. Um, Wisconsin, two, four, six to two, four, six. We win that tiebreak. Illinois, eight to two. Definitely libertarian. Two, four, six, seven to five. Libertarian. This libertarian. Ohio, though. It's ours. Pennsylvania stayed ours at the end there. Columbia is ours. Maryland, ours. Delaware is ours. New Jersey went libertarian. Connecticut stayed ours. Rhode Island, libertarian. Massachusetts is heavily libertarian. Maine went green. New Hampshire went green. Vermont went green. New York, by one voter, is libertarian. So, I believe that is everything updated. And we have pulled out a win. Um, I think definitely our swing votes at the end, if I put one, two, and what was the third one? Colorado. We put these states back. And he's won. Is it just Florida? Florida might have been enough at the end. Yeah, it was. I was extremely worried when his trunk was going off the end, but it had quite a slow October. Um, he spent a lot of turns just gathering voters, which didn't do much for him. And fortunately, stockpile of money, as well as the fact he never tried to take what are these states called? Or the, uh, the Southeast region, or the Appalachian region from us. And we, we got a lot. Um, voter registration. Awesome. Yeah, I thought I'd enjoy that. As a solo game, um, it feels challenging. Um, there's a definite amount of control you can sort of give. Um, the fact that when he gets a big lead, he doesn't tend to try and waste his voters and so have to spend time um, registering new voters is quite an interesting mechanism because you always want to try and keep it tight so that he can just waste more people. Then... Are you better off using your resources elsewhere? Just a just a nice non-political political area control game. Would be interested to see how it plays out with multiple AIs. Um, how smart they are at dealing with each other. Obviously they're not smart, but is it going to be easier with more of them? Because you don't have to be the one constantly making them use their uh, voters might be a little easier you can just focus on important states and make sure you win them interesting so we'll see how uh, how close to, to real life I mean obviously the green and libertarians never get votes in American politics or they don't get electoral college seats anyway never, never winning states but yeah good fun all right, so um, I was going to prep a poll ahead of time. I've not done so. Let me just try and remember how to create new polls. Um, 